Okay, we've removed the plate, the face plate from the tripod. Now it's time to put it onto the camera. If you'll notice, we have a little protruderance here that uh, holds into this hole here, and we have a screw that goes into here. Now the main reason that we have two points is to make sure that our pans don't cause the camera to spin around the one point of attachment. So we move, put one thing into the top knob into place, start off the screw by hand, and then in the pouch you will find a penny which you are able to use to twist to tighten the screw on the camera down to where you have a nice snug fit. And if you also notice on the faceplate, it says quite clearly right here, if you can see, is it says lens this way. Now that's in place. Now the camera, you can put it on the tripod and when you pan from left to right or right to left, it's going to stay there and it won't spin on the axis of the screw. Okay, now we're ready to put the camera onto the tripod. The face plate has already been attached, but one, of the, one helpful hint is to lock down both your tilt and your pan prior to putting it on so it doesn't move, so the tripod head doesn't move while you're trying to put the camera on. Now, if you'll notice, there are bevel edges to put the, uh, that the camera, that the plate has to focus, fit into when you put it on. Now we release the lock, place the camera, and slide it in. Okay, now that the face plate and camera are on the tripod, we haven't locked down the face plate yet, and it can still move back and forth. What we want to do is then take the lock and lock it into place after we have found the appropriate balance point. And now that I've locked it by moving the face place lock, the camera is static and firmly on the tripod.